Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use OpenCV uh, in Rust. So in Rust, we can use uh, Cargo Package Manager to install OpenCV with uh, very uh, few uh, steps. And yeah, let's see. Let's just create a new file, a new uh, Rust project using cargo um cargo create no uh, it is cargo new uh it is going to be a binary project and let's see uh let's name it uh rest open cv this can be anything so now you can see rest open cv is created and let's Go to that directory and open Visual Studio Code here. So you will find uh, this cargo.toml file, and in here you just have to add OpenCV, and the version name is going to be. So to find the version name, you just have to head over to. Uh, uh, crates.io and here you can just search for OpenCV and find the latest version. So currently 0 0.60.0. .0. This is the most recent one. So I'm just copying it and pasting it here. So and yeah this is the only step you need to add opencv as the dependency and let's write a simple program to just demonstrate uh, how it all works and we are going to uh, import or use opencv and from opencv we are going to use a result the prelude uh, it's the video input output to capture the uh, camera input and IGUI for displaying it and let's create a main function function main and this is going to return a result empty result it's so now we are ready with our uh, function now let's uh, call the camera let's create a camera object let cam equals video io from video io we are going to get a video capture device we are going to create a new one and this index is uh, zero will be the first uh, video input device that is connected to your uh, uh, device your uh, pc your laptop anything like this is if you have multiple devices and you have to index the devices you can just play around with this value and you can find your uh, device for my laptop this zero will be the built-in uh, webcam of my laptop and this is going to be video i will um, Cap any the type of the device that is anything and we we get a result so this question mark will uh, like this will be the helper function that uh, parse the result and throw error immediately if there is any um, error actual error when opening the camera 
and then we are going to create a igui frame so let's create a high gui window igui named window let's name it uh no. and igui of the window type i'm going to use the full screen and this is also going to uh, return a result and we are going to uh, parse it and throw error immediately with uh, this question mark and we are going to create a frame let frame equals um, our uh, at default we are going to create a default uh, frame so this is going to be a mutable value since we are going to get the frame uh, we are going to get multiple frames uh, every second like uh, this this frame will be changing rapidly this is the actual image output and yeah let's read the camera cam dot read so it is going to be mutable frame Yeah, we have to declare it as mutable two, and let's display the value to the to the named window. So for that, igui I am show image show. So this is the window. So and frame so we need to keep uh we need to have a weight key that will be igui weight key of uh, any non-zero value will uh, wait for the certain time if it is zero it will wait forever so let's see if it is working so for that we We are just going to run cargo run uh, depending on your uh, cpu's speed it may uh, take quite some time so as you've seen it just displayed my face for a second and it uh, just closed out and that's how you do it and if you want to have a pick a moving image or a video you can just uh, do this in a loop and you can store the key let key equals so this if e equals equals e equals equals one one three then we just break out of this loop so 
yeah the 113 is uh, the ascii binding for uh, q letter q so if i run this it will just uh, continuously it will yeah we need to have a non zero value here because zero will uh, block this forever so now you can see my face like if i press q it will just terminate and that's it so let me know if you want to see more tutorials uh, using uh, Rust or some OpenCV projects. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.